Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's very special video. Today, we're going to be interviewing the new upcoming and hopefully very successful P-pop group called Eclipse. Um, we're going to head off very shortly and interview them. Um, just before we do, just to let you know, they've already, already released two um, MVs, which you can find the links to them down below in the description, and also our reactions to them too. So let's go um, and enjoy the interview. Um, okay, so we're um, joined today by Eclipse, the new K-pop band. Do you want to introduce yourself, guys? Tell us a little bit about yourselves. All or nothing, we are Eclipse. Hi, I'm Lex. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dean. Hey there, I'm Gab. What's up? I'm Joshua. I'm Clyde. Hello, I'm GD. Hello, my name is Rave. And once again, we are Eclipse. Hello. Hi. Excellent. Well, we're very happy to uh, have this opportunity to interview you guys. So, um, we have some questions for you. We're going to spin the wheel first. Um, who wants to go first and answer this first question? Okay, okay, so I'm going to share the screen. Oh, I can't share the screen, it's been disabled. Um, okay, well, we can just go straight to the first question then. Mm -hmm. We thought this could happen. Um, so, okay, let's go for the first question. So, who are your musical influences? Well, that's very interesting. Uh, me, basically, growing up, uh, I grew up uh, watching Disney movies and uh, watching, of course, cartoons. And then uh, uh, had this uh, very uh, like uh, like a like support to a Bruno Mars growing up too, since he started his career and since he blew up, uh, I supported Bruno Mars then. Others like BTS, of course, uh, Asian group, and uh, now we got SB19 we're supporting too, and we look up to, and others got different uh, genres that uh, they want to support, like different arts, like Bruno Major, he told me earlier, and others like Taylor Swift, uh, Katy Perry, uh, other P other K-pop groups. So uh, what's what's a good thing about us is we got different uh, like uh, ins inspirations. That's why uh, we got different uh, flavors too that we might offer as a group, so that's, that's basically it. It's so good and it's very colorful. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> nice, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of different variation there. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, good. So who wants to go next for the second question? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Jillian. <laughs> okay, it's good. Okay, so second question then. Um, what the story behind your group name and how does it reflect your identity as artists? So, um, the Eclipse name actually uh, was, um, the idea was from, from the, the scientific, uh, I'm sorry, can we cut that out? <laughs> Can you ask the question again? Yeah, sure. So, what's the story behind your group name, and how does it reflect your identity as artists? So, uh, the group name Eclipse has come from uh, the scientific name Eclipse, which is uh, two celestial bodies uh, coming together and forming like a shadow-like uh, image. So. Uh, our our group decided to be that name because, um, like Eclipse, there's like two uh, two two sides, which is the light side and the dark side. So that we come up with the concept, we can do light uh, side, like light genres and light vibes, like positive ones, like love and friendship and family, and talk about uh, good things, happiness. 
and then the dark one which can uh, talk about the mentality the emotional side uh, and uh, dark genres like um, you know being being out of your mind or something like that so yeah and we really wanted the, to show this versatility to our fans moonlights and to all the listeners out there that we can uh, give them um, lots of vibes yeah also part of it is really uh, the meaning of eclipse it's like um, our music us also us and our fans uh, joining or combining together yeah. and into uh, a wonderful relationship through music so that's really uh, the, bi uh, the the meaning of e eclipse, and also um, the spelling of eclipse. It's spelled Y instead of an I, yep. because before we were we were um, formerly named as Yama, so it was. I, part of it is also us looking back on our past selves, also that helped us. Um, yeah, how we started. It helped us to. Um, be who, who we are right now. So that's Eclipse. Awesome. Another, Very I'm sorry. Yeah. Another, another meaning to the letter Y is U. So Y stands for U. It's in the center of the word Eclipse. So it means that we want to take you guys and the fans throughout our journey starting now. Hey, <laughs> Awesome. Really love that, guys. Fantastic. So I'll ask the next question. Whoever wants to answer it can answer it. We'll do it that way. So um, how do you think your music stands out in the P-pop scene? Um, I think really besides having like multiple genres for them to listen to, besides having like many options for them to uh, listen to uh, whatever they want to whatever they feel whatever they want to relate on to I think part of it is really the story that we want to tell the messages that we want to deliver through our music through our songs and um, I think that's really the big inspiration or that's the, the very uh, inspirational part of our songs is the messages or the stories that are we we're willing to tackle through our songs and yeah, we would like our music to serve as the bridge for Generation Gap and just, you know, inspire the lives of many. Okay, awesome. So, um, yeah, on that note, um, I know that your first two singles, um, Mascot and Shake It Down, um, talk about some of the struggles and triumphs that have shaped your path. So, just wondering, what are some of those societal pressures that you guys have faced in the Philippines? Because we're not familiar with, with the, the Philippines. So what, yeah, what pressures have you faced? Well, I don't think that it's only like present here in the Philippines. I think it's more of like where artists like wanted to explore more and uh, other peoples or the, the society around us ought to like uh, box us or chain us to do something to do a, like a certain just a certain persona just a limited persona and then we have this uh uh hearts that we wanted to explore we wanted to be whoever we wanted to be and that's one of our main struggles like growing up as a group but then again we we had this like all or nothing thing and then uh through our song like if you listen to our song that's like our shake it down like the like the hey that, like a wake up call for us and for other people too and then we have this uh, mascot song that where we saw the support of the people around us, our families, our fans, the, and their undying love for us, that they want to support us to whatever we want it to be in the future. Or as we grow, they're, they're going to support us uh, nevertheless, or whatever uh, the journey might take us, or up to what extent could we do it. So that's why we, we pushed this so hard, and we did this all or nothing thing, where everybody should be in to this dream, and we, we will continue until we reach that dream. And that's basically it and we're now here as a group and we're still complete as a group as seven so we yeah. it's so beautiful it's very rewarding for everybody so okay good um so next question then um so obviously you filmed your 
first two um, MVs. We've already actually uh, reacted to them. We haven't put them on our channel yet, but we're looking forward to uh, putting them up on our channel soon. So, um, they were very interesting videos, very different videos. Yeah. Um, how, how long kind of was the filming process? And did any kind of... Oh. Yeah, actually. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, we kind of lost you there a bit halfway through that one. It's all in there. Yeah. That's all question there, because I think I know what Lee was going to, to ask. Yeah, so it's all just how oh, long it took sorry, you to me. film um, those videos, and were there any sort of funny stories or funny incidents that happened that you can share yeah, that happened whilst lot. filming? There's a lot, honestly. Actually, Clyde is funny. <laughs> <laughs> No, just good. Can I show you some of the funny moments that we did? <laughs> do we <laughs> have? <laughs> yeah, we do. I feel the whole day was very fun. Like we never felt bored or tired. Actually, uh, the shooting process for each video was just one day. Yeah. And Shake Hold It Down it. was around half a day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. We started mor morning and ended up in the afternoon. Mm, yes. Uh huh. And I think Rave has many funny stories. <laughs> yeah, we actually have a lot of funny stories. Like, aside from me crouching, yeah. aside from so, us there, being there's lost. There's this scene that we improvised. Like, uh, they just yeah. gave us like a storyline and we ought to like improvise stuff so that it's organic. It's, it's very natural when we do stuff like that. And it's good too that we enjoyed it. Also, yeah, that particular scene on the mascot MV, like where Joshua was co uh, going down the stairs and then Lex, yeah, Lex uh, was yeah. there and I was gonna pop up above yeah. the above the stairs. I was like, I was almost, like facing uh, the yeah, facing the ground just to uh, just for me to hide from the camera <laughs> so that I wasn't be I w I'm not gonna be seen by the camera and then I'm just gonna j run towards the camera on that part. So I think that was fun too. It was really, it's, it's scorching really hot. hot also yeah. outside. It's very hot so. I have another one, I remember. <laughs> there was this scene on Shake It Down where Jilly enters in the middle. Uh, he was like doing that to the members. <laughs> <laughs> and there are moments where we can't contain our laughter. We just, <laughs> because Jilly's like, ah, so Jilly's we have to do the retakes on that. He was that. too hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we have like this one line. We have this one line only that we should uh, follow the steps for our steps or the choreography, and then uh, he he hit me too hard, so I so I was out of the line, out of the dancing part. So that, that was. He was out there having fun. <laughs> yeah, and we're supposed Enjoy to a poker face. Too. <laughs> yeah. So far. Also, like I just quickly asked, did any of you actually wear the mascot suits on the music show at all? Oh. Okay. The mascot. The mascot we haven't tried it because we just received the mascot <laughs> head. Yeah, it's there. You can try it. Small. Are you gonna try? Are oh, you, you gonna try, try it now? <laughs> I guess we're gonna try it now. <laughs> hey. 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 Fix the neck. Fix the neck. Hey. 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 Good thing with the interview while we're wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. So, um, yeah, your first two um, songs, Mascot and Shake It Down, were both sung in English. Is that something you, you're going to continue to, to do, or do you plan to add your own language, uh, Filipino, into some of your, your songs as well? Uh, of course, we plan on uh, releasing more uh, songs with Filipino languages on it, and I think the English, uh, us writing the song in English, is also part of us wanted to cater more audiences for them to understand more on what we're trying to say. And of course, uh, we have a lot more <laughs> <laughs> upcoming releases that we, I'm sure that are also going to surprise everyone again. And especially our Filipino fans, because 
we have a lot in line. Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? That's it. Oh, really? Hands <laughs> up, so I can't say anything. I, I can't say, say anything more bad, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, the final question then, I guess, is just what's the future for, for Eclipse? Where, what's what's going to happen? Where, where, how far are you going to go? The future is very bright. <laughs> uh, okay, so we, we actually have this like uh, goal in the future. We have the short-term plan, which is to create more music, to provide more song for everybody, like a more relevant whatever the situation is for that certain time. We're gonna create music about that. We're gonna create what we feel. But for a long term, we what we really wanna have this like uh, you know we, we have this artist that do classic songs. It's it's a uh, timeless ones that whenever they hear our song, they're gonna be it's gonna be like their escape whenever they listen to it. So it's not gonna be like a, a a good song for this certain time, but it's gonna be a classic. So that it's more of, yeah it's it's more of like a timeless songs that our artists like our OG artist got. <laughs> Also, we're gonna we're gonna try to talk to uh, talk about a lot of things, True. especially those uh, things that people don't have the power to talk about. To mm -hmm. we're gonna really, uh, yeah. We want to become their voice. Yes. Yeah. Through our music. Yeah, through our music. The good thing here too is we have this creative freedom. So that's why we can, that's why we can do that too. Yeah. That's fantastic, guys. Well, we wish you the best of luck. And we're going to be following your your journey. Thank you. So much. Um, thank you. Listen to all your all your songs and supporting you all the way. So thank you ever so much for your time today. This interview, we really enjoyed it, and it's given us a really good insight into into you as people and and, and your group as a whole. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. We have. We're gonna say thank you. Our uh, <laughs> ritual. Thank you. <laughs> so, ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, guys. Thank you ever so much. Really. Hey, Be nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>